What's going on? It's Lucas of Manmade. Um, I just want to quickly talk about the compressed air piping system that I put into my shop uh, a month or so ago. Um, I looked at a bunch of different systems and this seemed to be the best overall for my situation with a 60 gallon compressor and a couple of drops versus uh, a lot of high consumption um, air tools. So what the system consists of is a poly tubing with an aluminum core which is great because it bends and will hold its shape. This is a half inch inside diameter versus a half inch outside diameter so it does have a true half inch flow. It comes with uh, a bunch of fittings, a uh, cutting tool and a deburring tool. It's essentially a um, compression style fitting where you've got two O-rings which you seat inside a crimp ring, and then a compression nut. Um, so it's super easy to work with, and it gives you a really reliable seal. Um, really, it's as simple as mark it where you want to cut it, cut it with the included tool, deburr it with the included tool. You'll slide your compression ring on, your nut on, your compression ring, and then you'll put it on the fitting, tighten it up, and the idea is that you tighten it up until it's hand snug, and then you can grab a sharpie and make a reference line, and tighten it at least one full turn beyond that. Um, so that's it, and that'll give you a good airtight fitting. Another very cool thing about the system is it is able to be dismantled and replumbed depending on uh, your changing needs. So this is that fitting I just put together and as you can see it comes back apart and is ready to be used once again. It took me and my buddy Sam probably 20 minutes to plumb the shop um, from the compressor which is over here to three drops. So from my compressor, I ran a three quarter inch supply hose to my regulator mounted on the wall. And that regulates my pressure down to 90 PSI. From here, it goes up to the manifold. This manifold here takes the inlet. There's one outlet plugged. This goes to my 50 foot hose reel with another mini water separator and then it goes up into the ceiling. From the center of the shop I have a couple of T fittings drops down into a secondary T which feeds a drop here by the metal working equipment and another drop over on the other side by the front of my bench. Now the idea with these drops is as you can see they are angled downward and the premise is any moisture that may accumulate in these lines will be able to be drained out with this ball valve. And I used a quick connect so I can just push uh, an air hose right in. The final drop that I put in the shop is down at the far end. Again, it is angled down so any moisture can drain out. Um, and it's in close proximity to my miter saw station and uh, the area that I will set up temporary saw horses. Overall, the system was quick to put in. I have no leaks. I've tested each fitting, and uh, I know that in the future I can expand if I need to.